Are you okay? Oh, great. I was worried for nothing. I have good news. Look, the tank is full. Just what we need. Um, there is also bad news. The gate is locked and we can't take it out. So you're telling me you just killed these guys? And I can't kill any of them? Should I try to do that? Open the gate and let our guest in! Where did you go? I am up on the tower already. I have a plan. Come on! We won't even touch you! Unless you really ask for it. Mm, I don't like this, but... There is no other way. If we don't get out of this desert, we were as good as dead. Yep, that's him. Look at that gear. Good luck, Artyom. If the deal goes south, I'll... Him well, I'll do what I can. Wants to talk. Talk? What's there to talk with him about? A lot of things. Called him over because he had a topic, I guess. Down. There's too many of them to count. Rangers, slaves, even some women. What the fuck are you saying? Baron's quarters are probably at the top. fucking here. Uh, Run over about that That's bitch the Get over here. Go around them stinkers and just get to the next floor. And the boss hates stench. Don't you fucking catch it from them. Come on, why the fuck does it take so long? You could do it with your eyes closed, I know that! Stand down and work! What the hell do you think you're doing? Stand down! Okay, 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 chill, 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 chill. I'm making something for the boss here. There is a lot of enemies, holy. So if you don't like something, take it up to him. He didn't have to cut in the line before you after all. <laughs> Well, just go. I can't really live without my flavor. You just you take a fucking what? look at the beauty. Well, you just fucking now. pull it. They put Don't your you back into it. Where am I I'm supposed to go? I feed you yesterday. Shut up! I'll teach you how to. Should I? Should I do it? I wanna get qu I wanna quick save and try to do it. What? Are you fucking telling me what to do? What not to do? You had it coming! No kill, Master Misa. No kill, please. Master Move angry, time. but still master. If Master dies, they kill me next. I did a good job. Dude, this is a such a good place. Go up the ladder. Past the headquarters, then past the harem, and you'll end up right at the boss's door. Hey, what was that? Good. Proceed in the same direction. 
Proceed in the same direction. I mean, I could kill all of them, honestly. I could start a, I I could start a huge fight. <laughs> Which I probably wouldn't survive, but I mean, I could. Came from here, right? Did you fucking see that? That fucking work. It's one of those new well, guys. Fucking educate them, or else they just get out of control. They did dusty and the boys in, and now think the boss is gonna let them off the hook. Is she yes. naked? Keep on dreaming. Thank you. He's gonna stay She's naked. Oh no! Demonetized. No, no. <laughs> well, I bet Dusty went and tried mugging them. And the bastard had it coming on him anyway. Oh, oh god. So many demonetizations. Oh no. Hey, pretty boy. Did you come from afar? Yeah, yeah, I did. A Moscow even. You're the one to see the boss? Come on in. Don't waste boss time here. <laughs> oh my shit. Did you expect a different reception? <laughs> Alter your web. Here we can talk without the masks. I trust everyone present implicitly. You find it weird. They're not really bothered by your little mischief. Well, you see, this world is a harsh and chaotic one. I'm just doing my best to introduce a little order into it. Without which there is no hope for something better in the future. And with no hope, you can't live. But let us cut to the chase. You definitely did not come here to enjoy the scenery. Ergo, you have a goal. And that goal is probably far from here. I respect people with their purpose in life. So, I am ready to provide you with fuel for your journey. I'm not asking for much in return. Surrender Gyul to me. Bring her to me, and we all win. I have you. You will have your fuel. Everyone gets to live long and prosper. Now. Shit. Oh, she's about to go down. Where is that fucker? Where, where did it go? Where, where, where is that barren piece of shit? From the other side, that coward. Do you think I am a fool? Yes. You didn't want it here. Now you will all die. Starting with you, Gyo. Kill them. Artyom, get ready. For what? We must kill these dogs. Oh, God. Are they coming? Oh, God. How is he not dead? What's going on? What's going what do you mean what is going on? You, you're weak. And you are you the weak. But the world leads by different rules. 
The strong ones always win. Our strength lies in our unity. Our faith that keeps our flock together. It is through this faith that what? we protect them, direct them, keep them from disappearing in this desert. Yo, where is that guy? But you, Kjol, you're leading our what? flock astray. Yeah, don't worry about me. I'm I'm completely fine. Hello. Oh no, I don't have grenades again. Kill them! So that's how you counter him. You went all out here, didn't you? Good to know. Good to know. Oh, impressive. So, this is the plan Gyul was talking about. What the hell is going on there? Get out of there! I'll send people to cover your retreat! Yeah, we can't go that way. The door's giving! Let's give it a shove, Artyom! Oh shit! Come on, Artyom! gave my people hope. I'll never forget it. But this war has only started for me, and I must see it to the end. The winning end. Uh, let's go, Artyom. Thank you for helping my people. I'm in your debt forever. <laughs> You're back, my love. I was so worried. Fanatics on the banks of Volca. Summer. Cannibals in the mountain bunker. Slavers on the shores of the dried out sea. How many monsters has the war given rise to? Or. Perhaps were they always there? And the war simply gave them a chance to show themselves and now we're stuck with them forever. Regardless, we can't afford to lose hope. We are getting ever closer to our dream. Finding a place where we could live, free from radiation and mutants. The maps we recovered in the desert have provided us with several promising options. And now the crew members are excitedly waiting for the colonel's decision on where the Aurora should go next. Currently, though, the train is calmly rolling eastward. The crew rests, 
and Stepan proposed to Katya. It was a proposal she couldn't refuse. Aww. And she's naked. <coughs> Damn coughing. We've left those sands long ago, and it still persists. <coughs> what does Crest even smoke? <laughs> it's terrible. In any case, I'm better now. I hate to interrupt, guys, but uh, you should come to the mess hall. The table is almost served. Thanks, Stepan. We'll be there in a moment. Shall we go, Artyom? Or shall we stay a little longer? It's so nice. You know, Artyom, I've been looking at Stepan and Katya, you and me. And thinking how lucky we are. It was so different with my parents. It was bad. Did I ever tell you why my mom died? Of course I didn't. It was because of dad. He used to be even harsher back then. He used to come home from the barracks and reach for the bottle while taking off his boots. They'd quarrel and then he'd stop appearing for a time. And while he was away, she'd start drinking too, and crying when she was sober. She'd feel better, would get kind of dreamy when drunk. You know how she used to call me, just A. She'd hug me and say, one day, A, you and I are going to go to Vladivostok, the city I was born in. And from there to a village on the ocean shore. I was five back then and didn't really get much, but I could imagine that village and the ocean so vividly because I believed her and then she killed herself drank some kind of poison father quit drinking after mom's death didn't ever pay much attention to me but with her gone he'd never leave me alone took me along everywhere we only talked about her a couple of times though I used to have this doll Jana I played make-believe that she was my daughter, and we went to the ocean together. Then, my father hid it, told me it got lost. He probably didn't want me to agonize over mom's dream. Then I imagined she grew up and went to Vladivostok. And now I'm going, not to Vladivostok, but with you. The dream came true. By the way, I was always intrigued by what Dad dreams about. He should have some dreams, but what are they? Higher rank? He could choose any. Saving people? What would the saved do next? Sit underground? I never understood him. What does he hope for in life? What makes him happy? Nothing, perhaps. He never really had any time to think about tomorrow. Down in the metro, those thoughts don't come casually. Here on the surface, though. I, for one, have something I want to do. I want to run through the sand barefoot. Build a sand castle for the kids. I'm imagining two. A boy and a girl. The boy would be a copy of you. We'd go swimming with mountains behind us. Wooden houses on the shore. The sun would wake us up every day, rising from the ocean. That harbor is our destination. Worth going there, even if we have half the world to cross. Everyone should have a destination. A point on the map where they aspire to go, and where one could finally be happy. All our guys have their own. We broke out of the metro and are now starting to scatter. Not at once, of course. At first, we're all still running together, searching. But eventually, each of us will find a point like this and stay there. I don't know where my dad's destination is. Don't know where yours is either. But I know I love you a whole lot. All right. 
Go, Artyom. <clears throat> I'll rest some more and join you later. Let's see if we have anything in our uh, diary or... How's it? I guess it's a diary? Oh, we got something about summer. The Caspian. I think we already read about this one. Come on, Tau. Spring. The Volga. I'm doing this if by any chance you want to read it and you know you know what I'm saying and a Moscow I already read about these ones bandits fanatics exhibition Hansa Cannibals Tribals Svarog Oil Creatures These annoying beasts hunt you in packs, and if you see one, you better dispose of it immediately, otherwise it might howl and call in the rest of the pack, and will howl as soon as it sees you. Yeah, that's not really a pleasant experience. These giant flying mutants, confidently occupying the position of the apex predator in the food chain of the poison westland stretching above the tunnels of Moscow Metro have... Thanks to their enormous physical strength, speed, and aggressive deme demeanor, successfully sell a huge territory that is hardly surprising as there are very few animals capable of ever facing a demon. Those that could fight it one on, on one and win are even fewer and further between while a demon can easily fly away from any of them. Luckily, because of these strengths, the demons, like the large birds of prey of the past, prefer to live and hunt alone or in very small groups and thus do not present an immense threat to a careful traveler. Humanimals. Humanimals. Okay, so those guys. Wait, wait I hate these guys. <laughs> like they're mutants created by radioactive fallout, these nightmarish creatures feel feel right at home in the inhospitable possible world. Despite clearly being descended from humans, these creatures are not really that smart. Resembling apes in their behavior, they live in packs. Don't use any tools and defend themselves mostly by throwing stones <laughs> from a distance. One such moon is not much of a threat, but a fight against a pack of these is hard to survive. Our first encounter with these creatures happened on the banks of Volga in the open. They seemed harmless and even pathetic. Their ugly appearance appearance accentuated by the slug, sluggishness of their movements. Yet inside the abandoned loading terminal building, they proved to be more than just troublesome to me. It became apparent that Besides throwing stones, they were also capable of ambushing their prey by hiding in shallow water. Sarfish. Oh, it's the big one, or the small one. Generally, a giant mutant catfish terrorizing the fisherman world. World? World, I see? I, I, I guess. World seemed to be dubious object of worship at best, but Silentus still managed to in indoctrinate the locals, he would be brainwashed into believing the monster was sent to the earth with a divine mission. Kappa. Shrimp female. Oh, this one's the fucking spit out your face. 
A mysterious aquatic life form, seemingly crustacean of course, you can be sure these days, as far as I know, nobody ever thought of properly researching them and finding their proper place in classification. What we know is that they have strong carapaces, are aggressively are aggressive predators and such inherently dangerous. The females of the species tend to attack in packs, spitting corrosive mu mucus from the distance or when they think they can easily finish their prey, going in for a kill with their disgusting leech-like mouths. Shrimp male? A mysterious aquatic life form seemingly aquatic, of course you can be sure these days, as far as I know, nobody ever thought of properly researching them and finding their proper place in the classification. What we know is that they have extremely strong car carpices? Carapices? Eh? <laughs> or aggressive predators and such inherently dangerous, the males of the species tend to live solitary lives and are extremely territorial once they see anything they deem a threat, they immediately attack using their massive forelimbs as clubs and shields at once? Have I ever encountered a male shrimp in this game? The common dog seemed to be no match for the messed up wall of the surface, but it managed to survive despite being surrounded by mutants and human enemies, so they definitely are afraid to be considered, especially when you consider their keen senses and ability to easily alert their masters to your presence. Spiderbug male, oh my god, these fucking... These dwellers are abandoned tunnels and other dark places of which there is no shortage in our world. Are extremely aggressive, agile, strong and well armored, making them tough opponents when you consider their tendency to live and hunt in packs. They, be they become veritable nightmare fuel. Fuel their only real weakness, although a tremendous one, is light even of a mere flashlight can make them trash about in panic and die in seconds. Well, not really in seconds, but I... Uh, yeah. These dwellers of abandoned tunnels are, are dark places of which there is no shortage in our world that are extremely aggressive, agile, strong and well armored. Even better than the male counterparts, but prefer to stay at a certain distance from their prey, at least until they disable it with wads of web they shoot with amazing power and accuracy their only real weakness although a tremendous one is light and blah 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 lurker while well, lurkers are far from being the strongest or meanest mutants around either in the metro or on the surface they are still a danger to be considered especially for a lonely wanderer they are a colonial burrowing species as such, they protect themselves from the larger predators by constructing lots of interconnected burrows in close proximity to each other and hiding in them. If sufficiently threatened while keeping the surroundings under constant observation in search for danger of potential prey. But in a lurker infested area, you can never guess which burrow a bloodthirsty creature might appear from appear from. Though, you can bet it will most often be the one you're not looking at. And that's about it. Equipment. Well, we have equipment, you know, stuff like that, nothing, nothing really interesting. And we got weapons, you know, some new ones. If you want, you can read about it. I'm not, because I know what they do. And that's enough. And that is it. <coughs> Man, the graphics in this game are amazing. Such a detailed game. Sometimes, sometimes graphics are off in this game. But you know? <laughs> Everything is perfect, Artyom. Follow us. Are you drunk? Yeah. 
Typical uh, train in Russia, by the way. I barely have chemicals again! And I barely have any... What happened to my... Bro! Bro! Are you... Bro! Are you kidding me, dude? And I have 12 of these. I had 20 of these and, I now, and now I have 12, even though I never used them. Such a great game. Such a great fucking game. Oh my god. Well, it doesn't really look that nice outside, does it? Oh shit, we got our car, dude! Oh my god! Holy moly, why is there a cigarette? Oh, I can just randomly smoke, huh? Well, good job throwing the entire cigarette on the ground, by the way. This is like a bonus train that we attached. Okay, the, okay, I get it now. Sometimes I'm a very stupid person, you know that? clicks behind us. We have been through a lot. All right, people. I do understand I can't keep it a secret much longer. After a careful study of the satellite maps we've obtained <coughs> and much deliberation, we've found a place we could call our new home. <coughs> it is a river valley. There's forest and a hydroelectric power plant. Yeah. This place is quite far from densely populated areas, which, as our journey has proven, is important. We're about two days away from it now. So, congratulations! Yeah! 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 yeah. 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 Yet, uh, this is not our last order of business for today. <coughs> Stepan, Katya. Rings. Stepan, Katya, repeat after me. I take you to be my spouse. I take you to be my spouse. And vow to hold you from this day forward. And vow to for hold better you from this day forward. For, for better or for worse. For richer, <laughs> for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish to and until to cherish death do us part. To us part. As the captain of this ship, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Live long and be happy. Oh, and Gorka! 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 Oh. 
Well, that doesn't look good. Anna, what's happening? Be careful, people! Anna, please hold on. What's happening? What is it, Anna? What's that cough? Gotcha. Do something, please. Don't have her. her air. Damn. Experiment in the Yemen Tower when they dragged me away. That ghoul doctor said my lungs were falling apart. The gas I breathed in that ammo dump said I How don't have lungs. Believe that monster. We've just been through a desert and all that sand, so that might be the reason. Katya, Arthur, a few words. Go. I'm fine now. And they told me it's going to be a sad ending. So, son, care to tell me what do we do please. now? Let us not panic and think constructively. So, Katya, what do you think? I think that trusting some degenerate's diagnosis wouldn't be wise. A move from humid metro into the desert with its dry heat and sandstorms is a stress for us. Yes, I do think she'd be hit really bad right off the start had it My been thoughts gas. exactly. Thus, first I'll check her condition to the best of my knowledge. Also, we're approaching the valley with its forest air. That alone could heal her. I'm sorry to intervene, but did something happen? Oh, Anna coughed out some blood. Oh my god. Do you really think it's the same? Sounds more like TB to me. That's for sure. Maybe we can handle. We've got enough antibiotics, and air does help with that. What if... What if that degenerate was right, Katya? What do we do? Is there a medicine? There was an air defense battery station in our village. Right on the brink of war, they received a new drug. It saved a lot of people after gas exposure and general poisoning. I'll check my mom's records and find its name. I think it was produced in Novosibirsk. Right, Novosibirsk. Your back. Your opinion. For Anna's sake, I'll go to the edges of the earth. As for Novosibirsk, it's about 2,000 clicks. Then it's decided. We head for the valley. If it is suitable, we settle there. If our state worsens, I'll take a group of volunteers to find that drug. So, Katya, please, find that name for us. I'll find it. Don't worry. One more thing, Artyom. I want no surprises in that valley. You are our most seasoned scout. So take the rail car, one volunteer. Stop being so pushy! Out before we arrive. Let's go back for now. Tell Anna and the people to calm down. Now I understand why she was so down. Just imagine taking what all happens. So, what is the jury's verdict? Stands. We head for that valley with its fresh air and clean water. Then we go about settling there. If Anna's health... Dad, please. I repeat, Anna, in case you start getting worse, there's a drug Katya told us about, so we can go and find it for you, if it is needed. Hmm, that sounds like a great plan. I'd also like to say this. Guys, please don't worry. I've been feeling pretty bad as it is for ruining the party. Oh, come on. You didn't ruin anything. I just brought myself down to rock bottom over that bastard from Yelentel. Though it must just be the sand and desert climate. Of course that must be it. We were discussing exactly that just now. Alright. A toast. 
To you guys. Just be happy together. Stefan, do Don't worry about me, I'm uh, I'm antisocial, by the way. I consider myself an introvert, so uh, you, you, you keep drinking, you keep playing songs, you keep chatting, and I'm, I'm just gonna go far away. Yeah. Alright, well, uh, we continue our destination to... Cas was sick. Yes. Even though it's not written on the map, but we're gonna go there, I assume. I can't say I've ever been religious. But right now I'm begging all gods. Please, watch over Anna. And make the valley cure her of her affliction. In the meantime, Alyosha and I are on a recon mission. We have no idea of what is waiting for us there. Though Alyosha seems convinced that there are going to be crowds of women eagerly anticipating his arrival. If that turns out to be the case, then I have the best companion possible for this mission. Okay. Yes, I must say, I'm rather partial to this valley. Take care for what? Make sure so beautiful. Smell. Never smelled air like this in my life. I bet if we spend a week there, it won't just cure Anna. It'll make Colonel grow his feet back. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure about this that. One bumpy ride. The rails are all bent. The whole track seems to be fixing to slide down. I sure hope it can hold our weight. Let's hail the Aurora and tell them to take the other road. Come in, Aurora. This is forward recon. Do you read? Over. Aurora News. Reading loud and clear. Over. Colonel, sir. What is it there? This track won't hold the Aurora. Take the main one. Over. Oh, that is a church as well. Look at that. Look at that church for one. 